the fixed mindset views intelligence as fixed. We kind of born with it and we've got it and leads to a desire to look smart and therefore a tendency to avoid challenges. We kind of give up easily and we see effort really as a waste of time. We ignore negative feedback and we feel threatened by the success of others. On the other hand, a growth mindset leads to a desire to learn and therefore a tendency to embrace challenges, to persist in the face of setbacks and to see effort as the path to mastery, where we learn from criticism and we find lessons and inspiration in the success of others. When I ask you to open your eyes, I'm going to be doing and saying something, and I want you to notice your little voice, that little voice in your head that talks to you. Now, for some of us, it's more than one little voice, and that's okay. It doesn't mean we're a bit strange. Most of us have any number of them. So I just want you to notice the immediate, your immediate reaction to what I'm doing and what I'm saying. So you can open your eyes now. You're going to be doing this by the end of the afternoon, or some of you will be anyway. So what was your immediate reaction? Just yell them out. I've never done that. Oh, with the accent. I've never done that. Yeah, I good. <laughs> what was your reaction? Done that before. Great. What if I make it four? So, doesn't matter. You're going to do it. Fantastic. What a great attitude. What other reactions did you have? What was that? No way. Interesting. And somebody else. What did, you, what did you say to yourself? What did you say to yourself? <laughs> Clown. Thanks. I can, you can do four? You will. I love the attitude. We, I will do four. What did you say to yourself? My kids can do it, but I can't. Good. What about yourself? This will be interesting. Now, this will be interesting. It's kind of open-minded, maybe, depending on the tone that you have in that voice. Does that make sense? This will be interesting. Oh, this will be interesting. Good. Notice the responses from the audience. If their automatic response was something like, I can't do that. No way. This may be an example of a fixed mindset and you are likely to find learning more difficult. Although there are some strategies coming up to help you overcome this. If, however, your automatic response was something like, I've always wanted to do that or this is going to be fun. This indicates a growth mindset and openness to learn and try something new. People who approach learning with a growth mindset are more likely to succeed and have fun along the way. Another model that you may find invaluable in terms of learning and adapting to change is what's known as the success-failure spiral. It begins with potential. Most of us have way more potential than we give ourselves credit for. The key is to be able to tap into and realize this potential. How many of you know people who have huge potential and just waste it? So the next step to ensure that we don't waste our potential is to take action as opposed to procrastinating. And when we take action and keep taking action, we produce results that might be better termed feedback. And it's upon this feedback that we can correct and improve. It is our reaction or response to the feedback that determines our beliefs and attitudes and either encourages us, sending us up the success spiral or discourages us, sending us down the failure spiral. So keeping a positive attitude or mindset is absolutely critical. It will ensure we take more action, get more feedback, and make the appropriate corrections in the process, of course, building an even stronger belief or mindset about our ability to do whatever it is we're endeavoring to do. This sends us up the success spiral. But you know, what sometimes gets in the way of our ability to correct and continue to take action is our self-talk. So saying things like, oh, I can't sends us down the failure spiral, whereas catching ourselves with a simple word like yet can interrupt this pattern and keep us on the path to improvement and truly realizing 
our untapped potential. So, we need to deal with our internal dialogue. We'll talk about that in a minute. And you've already began doing it. Well, you know when I said, uh, you, we were saying in the beginning, I can't, what was the word, the three-letter word that followed it? Beginning with a Y. Yet. yet, thank you. I can't, yet. So anytime you hear yourself saying, I can't, just add the word yet. And then, of course, if we've got the right mindset, that gets developed because we're saying the right things to ourselves, then we feel like we've got more potential. That's juggling, by the way, that helped me do that. Okay, so we keep that spiral going, basically. It's about taking action, getting a result. We've got to keep taking action, and then with the result, we've got to be prepared to deal with our self-talk. So I can't yet. Another one is I can't, well, up until when? Or, well, in the past I couldn't. Anything that will keep me going.